We are happy to have you here to look at the artwork by the Lucerne artist Eva Zwimfer. These various everyday objects tell stories of life. These are things that may also activate thoughts and feelings. For example, the sight of the canine tooth can remind you of your last dental treatment. Maybe this was painful or unpleasant or even surprisingly painless. This tooth may take you back into the past and bring up memories which you may be experiencing at this moment. How about looking at this work in a mindful way, here and now? This means that you pay attention to the moment and to what you see here and now, without evaluating it and letting the past rest a bit. Of course, this is not always possible, but a little exercise may be worthwhile. How are you right now? How do you perceive your body? You may feel tension or relaxation. Where exactly do you feel tense or relaxed? Both sensations are possible at the same time. Take a few deep breaths and allow yourself to release possible tension when exhaling. Direct your gaze to the object and curiously explore what you see. What attracts your curiosity first? Which materials do you discover? Explore the transitions from one material to another. Now consider the different surfaces of the materials.
What shapes do you notice? Which colors appeal to you? Which are less appealing? These are all objects Eva Zwimpfer collected and that you can view here as a whole. It is a collection of things that we also recognize in part from our everyday lives. When you look at the object in its entirety, are there images or words which arise that describe the object in your own personal way? Allow space for your own creativity. Just leave your pictures or words without getting attached or lost in thought. How are you doing right now? Where do you perceive tension and relaxation in your body at this moment? Take a few more deep breaths and let possible tension go when exhaling. According to Eva Zwimfer's son, his mother can make something out of everything. She has a curiosity to collect and put together things that at first glance may have nothing to do with each other. Now, following these minutes of mindfulness, go on your way again. Perhaps you will continue to keep your gaze and curiosity open to the ordinary and unusual things in your everyday life and consider what you can do with them. Be creative. This mindfulness exercise was made possible by the Mindful Art Encounters Association. Author, MBS art teacher Regine Meyer. Speaker, Maria Rabel. Translation, Regine Meyer.